How does the challenge maybe evolve against Georgia's defensive front? Well, I think we have a challenge each week uh, that we go out there on game day to get better and to improve from the last game. So uh, I think, you know, that was one of our, our, our biggest uh, things was trying to get better learning from the film and trying to top what we did the previous week. I think that what makes us uh, a great team is we, we constantly want to push ourselves. We constantly want to get better each day. So. How different? I mean, everyone talks about, you know, SEC defenses and they're bigger and more dominating than others. I mean, what have you seen uh, watching them this week? I think that we've just mainly concerned about our behalf of, of the game. You know, we're concerned about how we can do better as an offense, not so much of who we're playing. We play a different team each week and, and they're going to come with new things. So we have to focus on on our half of, of getting better and improving. So. Uh, each team is going to go out there and bring their best. And of, of course, that's what we expect is for, for them to bring their best. So we have to bring our best and we're going to prepare likewise. So. Hey, Josh, here in front. Um, how forward do you guys just look to a game of this type of atmosphere come this weekend? Um, it was great to, uh, to get out there last week, finally in front of our fans. This will be our second home game. Um, atmosphere is going to be similar. It's going to be amazing to get out there in front of those fans, in front of our family and play. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun. Each week we have a new challenge, and, and, uh, and that's great to go on towards you know, our goal that we have set for ourselves. So um, it's definitely going to be a great opportunity. It's going to be a lot of fun getting out there again in front of these fans before we get on the road. So uh, we're just preparing for that, preparing like we, like we have been doing in the past. Um, we're on Wednesday already, so you know, we're getting closer, but uh, we're definitely uh, still focused on getting better and improving. And how do you guys look at this as sort of a uh... – Kind of an early season, you know, one of the biggest tests that you're going to be having early on. Um, what, what are the stakes of this game a little bit more higher than compared to what it was last week? Uh, I think it, it, at the end of the day, it's, a, it's another game playing a, a great opponent. I mean, uh, we face, you know, a lot of teams that, that will bring their best and will bring, you know, 100%. So we have to, you know, meet that expectation and we have to continue to practice hard, continue to prepare hard. We can't take any team lightly, no matter who, who we play. So. Um, again, it's another great opportunity for us to go out there and have fun and go and improve and offer, you know, improve on the mistakes that we've made and, and do better on the things that we did good. So uh, we're definitely looking forward to it and uh, we just can't wait. Uh, mentioned 161 yards last week. What does that do for, for your confidence uh, just heading forward here? I mean, it's, it's, it's another mark that we have to try to push. Um, each and every guy in that room wants to to do better, you know, us as running backs, like I mentioned before last week, we want to get out there and, and do good in, in all aspects of the game, not just run the ball. We want to try to contribute as best as we can to the team. And, you know, our, our, our end goal is, is to win at the end of the day. So whether it's two rushing yards or 160, we want to get that win. And, and however we can do that, we're, we're proud to do it. Uh, and lastly, from your perspective, just being on the field with Brandon last week, how he was able to handle his first live game. Uh, it was a lot of fun um, just, just going out there and seeing him progress and seeing him grow uh, from the first quarter to the end. Uh, you know, his first, his first real live action as, as starter, I mean, it's just amazing uh, how far he's come. Um, just going out there and having fun. It's good to see your fellow teammates just enjoy the game and just show love for the game and his teammates. So that was amazing. Thanks, Josh. Josh, right here. Um, from what you know about Georgia right now, what type of things do they do defensively that could challenge the way you guys want to run the ball and compared to what Temple did defensively and how they tried to stop you guys? Uh, I mean, you know, they're four down defense. might go a little three down. Uh, you know, we're just preparing for it like we would uh, each and every game. Uh, we have to uh, limit our mistakes. We have to, in a sense, uh, chase perfection in the way that uh, we run our offense. And I think that is what makes us a great offense is we want to continue to get better and we want to um, kind of dominate on our side of the ball. Um, again, it's an amazing opportunity to, to, to play whoever we play each and every week. Um, I don't think that, you know, uh, we should get too concerned about, you know, the other side of the ball as, as far as what we're doing. But in that sense, uh, we're excited. Thanks. Right here in the middle. Uh, obviously, against Temple, you got into their secondary a few times, got into the open field. Um, the expectation, of course, with Georgia is that they're going to have a little bit more athleticism. So just kind of does that excite you to, 
you know, if you if you get that opportunity in the open field, just to kind of showcase that you guys are on the, you know the same level or another level, um, you know, athletically that you can you know try to make some people miss. Does that just kind of excite you that that expectation? I think that we're gonna try to take it one play at a time. Uh, we're gonna try again to score as fast as possible. We're gonna try to continue to play at that tempo that we want to play. Uh, what we've been practicing for all off season. Um, again, it's another great opportunity uh, this week to uh, to go and play a great opponent. Um, next week we'll have another bigger opportunity to improve on what we've done, you know, this week. So I think that uh, us as offense, we're, we're mainly focused on how we can improve and how we can do better, not so much as um, who, who wants to stop us or anything like that, because we're only as great as, as we want to be. So. And then just lastly, really quickly, what was it like, uh, you know, kind of getting the handoff and seeing those, those holes that, that you were seeing against, uh, against Temple on a few of those runs? Um, I mean, we have a fantastic offensive line. Um, it's just amazing to run behind those guys. We have a, a lot of love for each and every guy up front. Um, and like I mentioned last week, you know, we want to repay them for all the hard work that they're putting in. So it's only right that, you know, we, we go 110% just to repay them and just to show, you know, our love for those guys. So, I mean, they, they do an amazing job each and every week coming to practice, you know, playing hard, being physical. Uh, it's just amazing to, to be able to be around those group of guys. Right here, Josh. Josh, um, since you've been at Notre Dame, what's the – the quickest, best pursuing defense that you've played against? <laughs> the, they're all pretty fast to me. I'm I mean, sure they are. Yeah. Um, no, every every team brings brings something new to the table, and they bring something different. I mean, uh, they're, they're all athletic. I mean, that's why they're, they're playing college football. It's got to be one or two that but, stand uh, out. <laughs> Um, no, it, I think it's mainly about, you know, the schemes. It, anything can happen in college football. You know, things change day to day. Um, you just never know, and that's what what's amazing about it. Um, I, I just try to go out there and have fun with my guys and uh, try to improve. You know, I obviously want to do better than than the game before. I mean, that's always been my mindset is to improve and help my team in any way that I can. Um, but but every defense brings something new, and that's and that's what makes it so exciting about game plan is you can you know craft up something new on the offensive side of the ball and try to execute it to the best of your ability. A lot of number one backs will say, you know, they need to get a few carries before they really get a, a sweat going and, and are at their peak. But your first carry, 37-yard uh, touchdown, exploded by some D, uh, DBs on the back end of it. Uh, generally speaking, are you, do you feel like you're ready to go with that first carry or do you need a few um, generally to, to really get into full gear? Uh, I mean, that was, that was my first carry, but, you know, that was my second play of the game. So I was in the game for, for two whole plays. So... I think uh, if we had a, a drive that went five plays and I only got my first carry on the fifth one, you know, I've been in there for a full series now. So I've had plenty of time to get my feet wet, get physical, um, you know, pass protection, you know, try to try to hold up somebody as long as I can. So I've been in the game for, for a while and I, I've had time to really get physical and get used to the gameplay. So uh, I don't think uh, it matters, you know, how many carries you have because you're out there playing football and, and – um, that's what's so great about our team is that we want to contribute in any way that we can. Um, yeah, that's that's just always been my mindset. Right. I wonder what it's like in the running back room when you're going over um, the previous game and Dexter Williams has a chance for like a 70-yard run and 35 yards from the end zone, he's looking behind him to see who might catch him. Um, especially with a guy that kind of speed, I mean, do you, do you give him a little trouble about looking behind him, or, or um, how did you guys look at that? Uh, I mean, we're all competitors in that room, so we, we want to push each other and we want to challenge each other. Uh, we all know that if we, if we get a chance to get an open space that we have to finish. Uh, you know, I had some runs where, you know, I didn't finish, and he had some where he didn't finish. So uh, we definitely get on each other about that because we want to be great as a unit, and we want to improve each and every week, and we want to continue to compete against each other. So any time that one of us has a chance to be successful, we want to see that other succeed and to do his best. So uh, I think we're on each other hard about, you know, all those type of things, and uh, that's what makes us a great unit. That play aside, I mean, what are, how are you guys taught that when you break away? Because you had a 60-yard run, and, but they had an angle on you. Um, how, how are you taught to deal with that? Um, are you not supposed to worry about who's behind you? Or if you do look, 
use a, a straight arm or, or what's the technique used there? Uh, I mean, you know, Coach Denson says that, you know, we can't be wrong with the ball in our hands. So once, once the ball snapped and we have the ball, you know, we just got to go out there and play football. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, it's a game that we've been playing for a while. It's a game that we love. So you got to go out there and have fun. Obviously, you know, touchdowns is, is, the, is the name of the game on offense. So uh, whatever you can do to get, up, get in the end zone and score is, is what we want to do. So just going out there and just uh, playing with confidence, you know, playing with, with the intent to, to score and to dominate is, is what we focus on. Uh, any way that you can do that. Of course, we practice uh, different moves throughout the week. Uh, so we want to kind of use those things that we've been practicing and we've been working on uh, and try to see that in the game. So uh, just going out there and finishing is, is, is our mindset. Thanks, Jeff. No problem. Hey, uh, are, are you aware of uh, Georgia's running back tradition? And was that a place that you knew about or recruited or knew anything about when you're coming out of high school? Uh, tradition. Georgia's running back tradition, uh, producing great running backs who go on to NFL careers. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not aware of that. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't know. I, we're only concerned about what we're doing right now. Um, we've, we've just started game planning, so uh, I don't know if that was something that will come up later or, or what. So. Have, you, have you ever heard of Herschel Walker? There? I have. I've, yeah, that's, Herschel Walker's the guy. You, you have heard of that, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What do, what do you think about uh, Georgia's other uh, – their tailbacks are going to play on Saturday. I, do you keep up with other running backs, you know, around the country? And do you know anything about Nick Chubb and Sony Michelle? Uh, well, I actually, you know, just had a class, you know, end at 2.20, so I didn't have a lot of time to think about that. I uh, rushed right over here. Uh, I have to get ready to lift. Um, after that, I have to go to practice. So, you know, my schedule is kind of tight. Um, but, you know, what we're concerned about is – is on the defensive side of the ball because you know I'm not on defense and I can't play the offense. So um, we're just concerned about how we're going to produce our game plan and, and how we can get better. Last question: Did you hear about uh, uh, Dominique Sanders and some other Georgia players saying something about they intended to punish Notre Dame? <laughs> no, Did I'm that not. Reach you? <laughs> I'm not big on uh, social media. I only have uh, Instagram, so I wouldn't. I don't really search uh, for a lot of that stuff. But um, no, nah, that's, that's that's interesting. I, I haven't heard any about that. Thank <laughs> you.